Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video I am back with another mystery unboxing which obviously you guys know is my favourite thing to do like ever and I am back with a super epic unboxing and something I cannot wait to do. Like I'm so excited my heart is racing. This box I've been waiting for because it's an 80s themed box. Yes it is, you guys know me, you know I love the 80s, so I cannot wait for this box. I'm so excited. And it is from a company that I have reviewed multiple times before on the channel, and they are called Pop Goes The Vinyl. I love Pop Goes The Vinyl, they're a custom company that mainly base themselves on custom pops. So um, they sell, I mean you can literally ask for a custom and they'll go, easy and that's what I love. I do have a few customs on the way from them and as soon as I receive them I'll be like videoing it up. I cannot wait because they look epic so far. Right, this box here, I have already opened it just to check because I'm waiting a few things. I didn't know if it was going to be anything at the time but it is a mystery box after my family have checked it for me. So guys, this 80s box I'm pretty sure the price was $24.99, including delivery or 20 something. Um, and I had to get it because the top hits guys were epic. We were looking at things like the Ninja Turtles van, um, the DeLorean, whoa, there were so many, the Skeletor on the Panther, Panther. <laughs> However, judging by the size of this box, I'm not gonna have anything like that because I do have two boxes in here. I bought two. Yeah, big fan. Well, I say I bought two. If you guys watched my last Pop Goes of Vinyl video, you will know that I did get a free mystery box. That's one of these, and then I paid for the other one. Now, the other hits that were in this box are pretty awesome. You could receive the golden ticket, which means that you get a custom made of your choice, but they also put some customs into the 80s box. They put in there Whitney Houston and Rocky Balboa. I would kill to have Whitney Houston I, I would love to have Whitney Houston because one of my favorite singers of all time and I think it would look amazing. I have kind of like a smallish collection of pop rocks and um, purely people who are just my favorite. However, they don't have a Dolly Parton pop either. So pop goes to vinyl, custom idea for you there. Um, right guys, enough chitter chatter. I wanna get into this bad boy box because I'm really, really excited and very nervous. Okay, another thing they also did was they put their custom t-shirts in there. They had made custom t-shirts for this box and honestly guys, I think you've gone all out. Like I'm super excited. So with the custom t-shirts, it did say um, things like Pop Goes of Vinyl says relax. If you guys know, like Frankie says relax, you know how it is guys. So if any of you 80s fans are out there, you'll know exactly what I mean with the type of t-shirts I'm talking about. I'd love to have one of them personally because I just think they're incredible. Um, I love t-shirts in general anyway. And as you guys know, I love wearing them for the channel. So that would be something pretty epic to have on. Right guys, getting into this box, I'm gonna rate things like I always do. I'm gonna rate on customer service, packaging and value. Customer service, great. 10 out of 10, I have nothing bad to say about Pop Goes of Vinyl. I think they're absolutely incredible. Quick for responses, very nice as well with their replies. And for me, what more do you want from a business than lovely customer service because that can really make or break a business and for me they've got it they're epic okay guys i did just have a little sneak peek then <laughs> and the first thing i see i'm gonna rip that off is some care instructions wash inside out wash at max temper 40 degrees no fabric softener do tum do ah do not tumble dry and iron inside out. Okay. Like a child at Christmas. <laughs> yes! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pop goes vinyl says relax. That's epic. Oh my God. I, I cannot believe I got one of these. To be honest, I'm not really bothered about what's in the boxes now. I just love the t-shirts. I'll tell you what guys, I'm gonna put it on. Okay, are you ready? In three, two, one. Ah, look at it. I feel like I'm proper set up now, ready for an 80s themed party. It's huge, it's baggy. I love it. This is awesome. I'm fully in the vibe now. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Okay, I'm happy. Right guys. Oh, okay. What the heck? 
Oh my god, what have we got in here? Yes! You guys know I love sweets. We've got some dib dabs. <laughs> We've got a wham bar. Wham. <laughs> wham. Wake me up before you go, go. Some love hearts. <gasps> What do we have? Oh my god, what is going on? We've got some stickers. What? I think I've ripped something off. <laughs> Let me have a look, see what we've got here. Oh my god, we have got so What is that? I don't know. We've got oh. We've got a Back to the Future little badge. Love badges, so 80s. These can go on my bag. A little shop of horrors. Little shop, little shop of horrors. I love it. Oh my God. And stickers. Stickers are my favourite thing and they're all Back to the Future themed. Are you having me on? First of all, guys, we've got this one. The power of love is a curious thing. Yes. I love this. That's awesome. So we've got Matty McFly. <gasps> We've got a sticker from the third film. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We have a hoverboard, Nike's on the hoverboard. Oh my God. And last but not least, to finish it off, we have the DeLorean. So for me as well, what I love about this company is, obviously you're paying $24.99 for the boxes, obviously, you know, and you're getting little extras in. So you're getting some sweets, I'm getting some pin badges, and I'm getting some stickers, which for me, really, 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 fills the box of it, pushes the boat out, it makes it a little bit more personal and for me that's something that you literally cannot change. And for me that's something that absolutely brings the happiness to a mystery box is just making it a little bit extra with those things they put in. It's huge for me. Right guys, back to the box. I have two boxes so these are my boxes right here. My poster fell. Is there a ghost in the room? Is there a, is there a ghost in the room? What was that about? <laughs> right guys, my two boxes, here we go. So obviously, I'm presuming they're not obviously by the looks of things, I'm gonna have two pops in each, which means probably nothing good. We'll see. We'll go with this one first. Okay, we'll open this one. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Right, okay, let's get that. But just down there a second. Okay, so not bad. So we've got a Jason Voorhees pop. That's not bad. I already have uh, most of the horror collection anyway. Um, so that's an awesome pop though. I like that. I'm not, to be honest with you, not what I was expecting in an 80s box. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was expecting really classic old 80s stuff. But awesome, that's pretty cool. Nicer collectors as well who don't have this one. It's a beautiful pop, you know, it is a gorgeous one. It fits perfectly in my horror collection. Unfortunately, I do already have it. Um, so this will be straight up for sale. But that's not bad. That's, you know, it's an okay pop. Um, yeah, pop that there. So the next one to go with that. I'm presuming then the next one's really not gonna be the best of, um, of things. Here we go, guys. Three. Two, one. Okay. So this one is Donatello from Ninja Turtles. Not bad. Um, still nothing that I'm hoping for as of yet. I would love to have something from Back to the Future or something just very classic 80s, like Dirty Dancing. I know I was going to say Grease, but Grease was filmed in 78 or 79. Um, so definitely not that, <laughs> but um, yeah, but you know, Donatello is pretty cool. I don't collect the Ninja Turtles and I'm really not going to purely because I know they were 80s, but because they say Nickelode Nickelodeon on the top as well, it just kind of makes me think of when I was a child, not necessarily the 80s, more than 90s, early 2000s. So for me, <coughs> excuse me, this will not be something I'm keeping, but nonetheless, a cool box. And so value wise, it's, it is there because this box would have cost 20 like i said just over 20 pound and they're about 10 pound plus each a little bit so you know not bad nothing as i was nothing like super like you know epic for me but two pops that are pretty awesome unfortunately i have the friday the 13th one otherwise i'd be super buzzed about that so that's the first two there 
So I'm really hoping we're going to pull something good in this one because obviously uh, 40 odd pounds a lot to spend on a box. So hopefully, let's see what we've got in here, guys. Three, two, one. Kidoki. So this is Sam from Cheers. Um, I actually, I've got a little rip at the bottom. No. I um, saw the Cheers Pop a while back for like three pound. <laughs> so I'm assuming we're gonna be looking at not really a lot for this one. But I have no idea what Cheers is either. There's never been anything that I'm interested in. The box is a little bit broken at the top, a bit bulgy. But yeah, I have no clue value wise on that. It's got a bit of a lift. And yeah, no clue value wise. I mean, he looks cool. He looks awesome. But I've never actually heard of Cheers, nor is it anything I've ever been interested in. So that for me is nothing I'm going to collect. Unfortunately, so far, I've had nothing that's going to go into the collection, which is a bit like, oh, I just want something that I can keep for the collection. Right, guys, final one. Let's hope it's something good. Which one's it in? Is it this one? Have I just opened that one? <laughs> right guys, three, two, one. Okay. Okay, so we've got we've got a glow worm pop, glow in the dark. Yeah. I mean it is, you know, it's from the 80s, but unfortunately guys, this has just not been my box. Oh no, something I was so excited about as well, unfortunately just hasn't worked out in the best in my case, which is heartbreaking, but you know, it is how it is guys, it goes how it goes. But yeah, so the glow worm, so nothing exciting for me personally, because I'm not going to keep this either. I never played with glow worms or anything like that. Like I, I love 80s stuff, but I never really, you know, did that. But you know what, guys? It's it's not a bad pop. Um, I'm gutted, really, because I was hoping for kind of something more, like I said, 80s themed. So you had loads of things that you could have put in there. However, on that note, all of these are 80s pops. You know, you've got your Friday the 13th, you've got your Sam from Cheers, the glow worm and Donatello. They are all 80s, so there's no complaints on that end of things. It just doesn't really... It, nothing for me, anyway. However, I know that these are awesome boxes, and the value, I think, is definitely there. I'm not really sure about these ones, because Sam, I don't think, is going to go for a lot, to be honest, and I'm really not sure on the glow worm, because I'm sure I've seen them in, like, Asda and things like that. But apart from that, guys, I ain't going to complain, because the value's there. I'm happy I got a T-shirt. At least I'm going to be able to keep the T-shirt, you know, but these ones, unfortunately... I'm just going to be going straight back out for sale. Nothing for me with the 80s box. However, I've got some sweets and some stickers and badges to keep me happy, and that's all I care about. Pop Goes to Vinyl, guys, they do a lot of mystery boxes, and um, they are really good with their mystery boxes as well. Like I said, they do go all in. You know, things like the t-shirt, things like the stickers, the badges, they do go all in for it, and that's what I absolutely love. So I'm going to recommend them highly on that alone. Um, just this box, unfortunately, wasn't for me, which is heartbreaking, because the 80s box was the one I was so excited about. Um, but yeah. Nonetheless, happy with the pause because they are pretty much value back. Um, what I will do, guys, is I'm going to link Pop Goes to Vinyl down below in my bio. So the website's going to be linked down below. If you click on that website, have a look through their awesome pops. So they do custom pops. Like I said, that's mainly what they specialise in. But they also do sell mystery boxes. And they now sell their own pops as well and things like the t-shirts, etc. So it's definitely worth having a look on the website, guys, and seeing if there's anything on there for you. Because I can recommend them 10 out of 10. I think they're awesome and great with customer service. Awesome with packaging and good with value. So thank you so much for watching guys and as always a lovely like, a lovely comment and a lovely subscribe would be absolutely amazing. What I am going to do guys is also link my Instagram down below in the bio and my email address as well. So if there's anything that you would like to ask me or anything you want me to review then please email that email address and I will get that sorted. Thank you guys, stay safe everybody and I will see you all very soon. Bye!